two recent clinical trials, large and well-controlled clinical trials, have shown that there was no difference in efficacy between high-dose interferon and glutiramer acetate. Well, this is very important information, and it's something that we took many people, and took many of us uh, by surprise. We really expected to see a better effect with interferon than with glutiramer acetate. That didn't happen, and the reason it didn't happen is because there's really not a significant difference in efficacy between the two drugs. So the question now is how do you choose an initial platform therapy for a patient with relapsing remitting MS. Let's say garden variety relapsing and remitting MS, somebody with not too aggressive disease. And the answer is it's pretty darn difficult. What you have to do is talk to the patient, discuss the different therapies, um, describe them, and it's really not so much important what you start out with, it's what you do during the course of the disease. So I may start out with A, B, C, or R, but if the patient has relapses, if they have new MRI lesions or if they have progression of disability, well then I know my therapy is not effective enough and I'm gonna to switch to a different therapy. Or I may go to something like natalizumab depending on the situation. Now, if I have patients with aggressive disease right from the outset, I'm gonna start them on natalizumab straight out. Um, the reason being, those patients are at very high risk for disability progression. If I look at a patient who's got 30 enhancing lesions on the MRI, I have a very low level of confidence that interferon or glutiramyl will be enough to completely suppress the inflammation in that person's brain, and that's what I'm out to accomplish. So if I have a patient like that, then we're going straight to natalizumab. So once again, it really depends upon what's the patient's risk of progression, what's likely to happen near term, um, the safety of the different agents, and you have to sort of weigh and balance that and decide which medication to use. What you always have to remember to do is to maintain your flexibility and realize it's not so much what you start out with, it's what you do moving forward. And what your goal is is, is, is to completely suppress relapses, completely prevent disability progression, and completely suppress all new inflammatory lesions on MRI. And as long as you've done that, you've accomplished the very best treatment that we can produce in MS today, okay? Because nothing else, um, none of our drugs do anything other than affect inflammation. So our goal is the complete suppression of the inflammatory disease process. And if you do accomplish that, when you probably won't accomplish it in perhaps a majority of patients, but in those in whom you do accomplish it, it's very likely that they will do far better in the long term.